How's it going today guys? JMW Films here. Today I will be showing you guys how to install 5M for GTA RP and installing a trainer. So section one we're going to start off with downloading 5M. You want to open up your Chrome browser or any browser you use. You want to type in 5M. should be the first one. 5M modification framework. You want to hit download client accept all this BS you want to open the exe now it's going to be asking you to select the folder containing Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, so I have it under installed under Steam library and if you bought it from Rockstar you can find it in the folder you installed it in So I'm just making sure it's in the right folder and it's going to automatically detect all the Grand Theft Auto 5 files since it, this is just a framework modification. This is not creating any new things unless it's community made and it's going to update the game cache. So you're just going to let that run and it's going to automatically uh, open up and it's going to show you that you've actually installed it and all that. So this basically concludes section one. So yeah, you're already good here. Now for the trainer, uh, this will help you in game on servers, you can change skins, spawn cars. Some servers do not allow this, so this menu might not work on other servers, so you have to be careful where you use it. Most servers will allow it, but I've come into a lot of them that would not allow it. So you want to drag the Lambda menu down to the desktop after you downloaded it. So to get into 5M, you have to open, right click it, open file location. And then you're going to have application data and 5M exe. So you want to open the data file. You want to create a folder named plugins. This will not already come default. You have to create it once you installed 5M. Make sure you type in plugins, nothing else. You can't name the folder anything else. So you want to drop the Lambda menu ASI into the plugins folder and then you want to go back to the application data folder and you want to drop the uh, XML file in, the config file. And then you should be all good. Everything else is already included in it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and make sure you click that notification bell to get further updates from my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching today guys and stay tuned for further content.